Hi everybody, Radical Gardener. You hear the birds? Solo's walking around. Yeah, making that nice and straight. I don't know where Solo is, but I just have to watch because she likes to bite toes. That's that's what Solo likes to do. Come on. Cooperate with me. There we go. What a day I've had today. What a terrific day. Um I was contacted by a practitioner. A nurse practitioner who works in the bush in Alaska and um, we were first talking about Bob uh, C60 and we're just talking about some different applications of that but um, and actually it was Bob that connected us but uh, now she's very interested in my healing music so we're talking about the application of that so that that's a, that was a great phone call and then reconnected with a friend of mine who uh, is an incredible um, practitioner and she works with the biocom machine and uh, so we we're just talking about her experience with that that's a machine that's used much more uh, really in in japan and china and germany really everywhere um uh it's really an accepted tool for um, uh, a diagnostic tool but it's also a tool that um you can use for correcting the problem that you're uh, that you're diagnosing. Uh, so it's much like the RIPE machine, but it is a very advanced um, version of it. And of course, it's uh, it's German engineering, and uh, it, it, it's really something. Uh, she's really having a lot of luck with it. Not luck. Uh, she's very skilled. She's really having some incredible results. So it's just wonderful talking to these people who are using these complementary tools to um, show people the way to health. Um, I always say never give up. Uh, there's always an answer out there. Uh, if you're sick, you just haven't found it. What you have to remember is the body wants to heal. And one of the things that you need to do is get your body in a coherent state uh, where the sympathetic and parasympathetic uh, nerve endings that are attached to each cell are communicating with each other and in coherence so that you can set up your body uh, for healing and there's many ways to do that and one of the ways that I do it is I do it with the music that I compose but uh, there's many different uh, applications out there um, of, of ways to really um, achieve that homeostasis right so uh yeah it's just i can tell that i'm going to be spending some time uh you know back in this world I, I walked away from the whole healing world for about a year while i was getting my health together and i was going through a huge transition i've talked about this before i think all of us were going through such a big transition last year it was definitely the year for it and this year we're you know kind of coming out of the fog um uh uh, I'll tell you, it's been, it's a very profound time for me, and so many people are saying that. So this is, just feels to be a, a very exponential feeling, uh, movement, uh, whatever. But I'm feeling so much love from um, from the earth, from our mother. Uh, you know, I call her Sophia, and uh, you know, I'm just uh, I'm feeling it so it's so profound and I'm not the only one I mean I'm hearing this from so many people and I think that we're we're going through a, a type of an evolution uh, with the earth with the earth mother and we're um, finally open enough uh, evolved enough uh, connected enough uh, wise enough uh, you know to where we can accept the love that has always been here that the earth is so uh, so readily uh, offers us, right? Anybody that gardens or spends time in nature or, you know, we you really feel this. And <coughs> it's tangible when you're really open to it, right? And um, I think, you know, real key is is getting healthy uh, because you're, you, you know, you, uh, you seem to be just, um, I don't know, uh, you, you're open, you're relaxed, you're, you know, you're joyful, you know, you, it just seems like you're more readily open to be connected, you know, uh, there, there just aren't words for this stuff. Well, there are. If I was writing, I could write this out beautifully, <laughs> but uh, words just seem to fall short when you're talking about things like this. But the exciting thing is I'm not the only one feeling this way. It seems to be exponential. 
All right. Um, so, you guys, look how different I look. I really, look at, my skin is doing a new thing. And uh, it's looking even younger. And what's really crazy now is um, I'm, I'm losing weight. It's like 31 pounds now. And none of my skin is sagging. So it's, uh, it's just firming up as I'm losing it. What is going on? I must be living in an alternate universe. So it's pretty crazy. It's really crazy. Um, okay, so I, I want to talk about a couple things here besides being connected to our dear Mother Earth. Uh, one of them is I, I, you know, every paycheck I order coffee. And, um, you know, I'm getting the coffee from My Patriot Supply. I'm not crazy about My Patriot Supply. I think they're real. I just hate their whole advertising bent. You know, it's it's like, you know, be, I don't know. It's just over the top for me. I'm not, it, and plus most of their products aren't organic. And But you know what? They have great deals on some things and, is this coffee organic? No, it's uh, it's uh, their it's their instant coffee, but it's really delicious, <laughs> and it's a great price. It's uh, 720 servings. I'm not. I think we pay around 75 dollars for it, something like that. It's a lot of coffee, and uh, so uh, you know I, you know my husband drinks more coffee than I do. He probably drinks four cups a day. I drink one. But I want my one cup. I'm really serious about that one cup of coffee. And um, so th that coffee's going to last us a long time. And if you ever want a bartering tool, it would be coffee. So um, so we're stocking up on that. But the other, another thing we're stocking up on, and uh, I think a couple of videos ago, I was talking about things that, you know, what do you really need? Well, you really need soap. And since I don't make my own soap and I don't have lard to make soap, um, this is the soap that I've been, you know, I, I have my Felsenapha, like for washing clothes, that bar soap. That's pretty hard soap. But this is um, a half gallon of the Dr. Uh, the Dr. Bronner's. And uh, this is the Pure Castile. And they have all different kinds. I've looked all over, and the, the best price I can find is on, is on Amazon. I mean, there's Vitacost, which is comparable but you don't get free shipping which you do get with Amazon sorry folks I know Amazon's taking over the world uh, so you can be politically correct and not order from amazon.com and go to Vitacost whose prices are are comparable but they're gonna get you on the shipping so it's up to you but 128 fluid ounces is 60 bucks um, and that soap will go a long way. I mean, a little bit on a washcloth. And you can use it for everything. That's what I really like about it. You, know, If you want to wash your clothes, if you want to wash your face, you want to wash your hair, you want to wash the dog, you can really use it for anything. So I like it that it's all purpose and I don't have to have a lot of different things. And if I'm ordering this, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to you know, spend again. I do this over a period of time. Like every time we get a paycheck, I order a couple of things and I just fill out our, our, you know, our stash. And so right now I'm concentrating on soap. I think soap and coffee. I think we're pretty good with the coffee now, but now I'm doing it on soap and I'm going to pick another item. Oh, another one is that I'm, I'm looking at and I've been ordering is dehydrated beef. I have a dehydrator. It's not one of those big, powerful ones. Uh, so I, I'm not doing uh, dehydrating meat, but... Uh, you know, I'm part of a group, uh, a forum called Hillbilly Preppers. Man, those guys are serious. Uh, they know how to do it, and and, uh, and and I think that's great. It's not something I do. So, uh, you know, they hunt, they cure their meat. God bless them. Uh, I wish that was something that was, you know, I was out in the country and I was doing something like that, but I'm not. So, um, yeah, so uh, now I'm ordering dehydrated beef because I, I just feel like it'd be a good idea, especially for me. I'm a real protein girl. I'm definitely, um, you know, a meat eating uh, person. I do really well with a with a real uh, with a meat diet. Um, you know, meat and some simple vegetables and a couple of fruits a day, and I feel really, really, really good. Um, and my husband could go. My husband is a type A blood type A, and he could just eat leaves all day long. I mean, he just is 
fine. But I'm a type O. I've got that Eastern European blood, and uh, you know I do really well with uh, with meat, not potatoes, not any of the starches, but uh, sweet potatoes. That's that's the, the the only potato that really is good for my blood type. All right, so let's talk about arthritis because, as you know, I was scheduled for two knee surgeries and uh, replacements, and I never got them. Um, and I had arthritis. It, it, I, it was just getting worse. It was starting, I could feel it in some of my toes. I could feel it in a couple of my fingers. Um, you know, I was getting those aches and pains. And so I, I was a little concerned. I could see where that was going. My mother had it. My mother died young, and she had all, she already had it. She was just in her in her 40s when she died. So, um, you know, I knew I had to get busy. Also, I've broken my back. And anywhere where you've broken a bone, you know, that's kind of an invitation for arthritis. So, as we know, the C60 really nipped that in the bud. And, and my knees can have moments where they go, oh, can there's something still here? But basically it feels like it's pretty much eradicated it. But let's talk about what kind of diet you eat if you don't want arthritis, you don't want the pain of arthritis. And before I found C60, I, I had for a few months gone on a non-inflammatory food plan and my arthritis almost instantly stopped hurting. So let's talk about what that is. You ready? No sugar, no dairy, no beef, because beef is high in uric acid. No uh, nightshade plants. So that means tomatoes, peppers, eggplant. Uh, and um, beef is the only meat that you should stay away from. The starches are, well, I stayed away from rice, but rice isn't that inflammatory. If, the, if you really feel you need to have a starch, go with the brown rice. Uh, but potatoes, no. Pasta, greens, no, no. Because they cause inflammation. So you wanna stay away from the inflammation. Sugar, greens, beef, nightshade plants, okay? So <clears throat> I know it seems impossible, but, and, you, and it seems like there wouldn't be a lot to eat, but I'm telling you, I have nothing but choices. You have fish, you have lamb, you have pork, you, you know. I mean, there's so many different kinds. Chicken, uh, you know, I eat butter, and I eat goat cheese and feta, but I don't eat anything that comes from the cow. Um, I do eat beef, but I'm not dealing with arthritis so much anymore, but I'm eating a lot more fish now. Um, and, uh, and I will occasionally in a salad, I'll have those little small tomatoes, but I don't eat tomatoes like I did. Now in the summer, I will eat more tomatoes because we grow them, but I pretty much stay away from them. So if you want to be pain free, try it. Try it for a week, try it for four days. You will feel better in four days. Um, it's really key to not having that arthritis hurt you. Just, just try it. Um, yeah, okay. So let me know if this makes sense to you or if you'd like to know any more about it. As, as you all know, I'm very open to emailing you back. Uh, you know, I have so many different discussions with a lot of my subscribers and, and we discuss health and, you know, I'm asked for advice. If I don't know, I go to somebody and ask, you know, and I'm just sharing from my experience. I don't know anything uh, more than a lot of people. It's just because I've been through it. I'm a little older. I've been experimenting and trying all kinds of things throughout my life to be healthy. And I feel like I've really found the, the winning combination, right? Okay, you guys. Well, that's enough. So many of you have found me again. Uh, thank you so much for looking for me. Um, you know, it is what it is. And we're just moving on and we're staying really positive. Uh, so, okay, you guys, uh, Radical Gardener, uh, from my garden to yours, may your garden always grow. You know I'm sending you a ton of love. Please share, please share, please share, and hit that, you know, thumbs up button. Okay, thanks so much, everybody. Love you. Bye.